coming to the next part of our discussion ph scale ph so it tells us the h plus ions concentration present in a given solution so ph is nothing but the ph scale indicates a particular numerical value that numerical value tells about that the nature of solution so the nature of solution may be acidic basic or neutral whatever it is that can be known by using the ph scale so the value of the ph scale ph value lies between 0 to 14 coming to here if a particular solution is having the ph value between 0 to 3.5 that is strongly acidic that is strongly acidic if a particular solution which is having the ph value between 3.5 that is a uh, between 3.5 to 6.9 it can be considered as 3.5 to 6.9 it is considered as weak acid weak acid the solution which is having the value 7 the value 7 is called as is called as neutral solution is called as neutral solution then coming to the next thing 8 to 10.5 that is called as a strong weakly weakly basic in the solution which is having from the ph value lies between 10.5 to 14 that is called as a strongly basic based on the ph value what should be indicated by the ph scale the solution can be decided whether strong acid weak acid neutral weakly basic or strongly basic whatever it may be that can be known by the ph scale so here if it is having the ph value is 0 then the number of h plus ions is 10 power minus 0 nothing but 1 if suppose the ph value is 1 then the number of h plus ions concentration in that given solution could be as 0.1 if the ph value is 2 then the 10 power minus 2 is the value of number of h plus ions which are present in the given solution Like this manner, it measures nothing but H plus ion concentration. Then the value is allotted according to the concentration of H plus ions at uh, every aspect. Then coming to the appli applications of pH scale. So first one, if the pH value is zero, generally it is having for uh, some uh, battery acids. Battery acids. So. Uh, For conduction, acids and bases are good conductors. Uh, for conducting, uh, for better conduction, the acidity is uh, should be the concentration of H plus ions concentration is more. Then we can say that it is strongly acid. If this strongly acid, this uh, this pH value should be zero. And uh, the gastric juice, what the gastric juice is the juice which is present inside the stomach uh, for the digestion purposes. And uh, which value is the uh, lies between uh, one to two? Nothing but one point two approximately is having. So we can say it as uh, gastric juices. Uh, I guess true. I guess true juice. I guess true juice. And uh, the next one is uh, lemon. Lemon. Vinegar, vinegar commonly seen in our kitchens. Vinegar is having a pH value three, and uh, beer, beer is having a pH value of uh, lies between four to five. And uh, next one is egg yolk. Egg yolk is a protein number eight, so which is. Uh, Having a pH value which lies between five to six, and uh, rainwater lies between six to seven. Rainwater, 
which is the purest uh, form of water, rain water, is between uh, 6 to 7. And uh, 7 is for blood. The actual pH value of blood is 7.2 and uh, distilled water also. Distilled water. Distilled water is also having the a pH of uh, 7. Sea water, this one, sea water is having a pH of 8. And uh, milk of magnesia, which is used as an antacid, milk of magnesia. Ammonia, or uh, it can be written with a formula NH4. Ammonia is having a NH4. And sodium uh, hypochlorite. Sodium hypochlorite, which is used for uh, cleaning purposes, which uh, kills the maximum germs. Sodium hypochlorite is having a pH value of 30. And next one is uh, sodium hydroxide, is having a pH value of 40. This is about uh, the pH scale and the applications of pH scale.